this one is titled Here Again. There is a song, a praise song, that's actually called Here Again. And they would sing it at Clinton First Assembly of God. And this was back in 2019. I was still helping uh, with the music and playing the piano and all at New Life Assembly of God, but they wouldn't have Sunday night services, so I would attend First Assembly. And they sung the song one night. It was the first time I'd ever heard it. And after that, every time they would sing it, it would just touch me. Because I was at a place in my life where I knew that I was on a detour with my walk with God. But detours are not in vain. There was purpose behind that detour. I needed to be on that detour. But I was broken. I was uh, was fixing to have to step down from new life. I was, um, after two years, I was entering my third shunt revision surgery. And on top of that, I didn't know that later on I would have to have that growth removed again behind my ear and have radiation treatments. But God met me one night. I was so broken, and that was the first time I'd ever heard this song. And it reminded me that God meets us at our present time. In fact, the first verse says, Can't go back to the beginning. Can't control what tomorrow will bring. But I know here in the middle is this place where you promise to be, where God you promise to be. God meets us at the present moment. We have no control over our past. We have no control over what's going to happen in the future. God has control over what's going to happen in the future. But we're nothing without God. I want to desire for God to meet me where I'm at above all else. God's perfect love cast out fear. That scripture, God's glory is manifested in our weakness. In fact, I even remember just before I had surgery and before I had my heart test, how unsettled I was. I was broken. I remember just crying excessively and just not being able to do anything but weep. And I was in my room and I was crying out to God and God clearly spoke to me and he said, what is it from you, from me that you really need? Because Jesus has gone to prepare a place for me, a mansion in heaven, everything that I'll need when he comes back to get me. What is it that you need on this earth, Kimberly, until I come back to get you? And I said, peace. And he said, well, re reach out and receive it. The only way I can get peace is through God. The only way I can get the perfect peace that it passes all understanding is through God. It's only given by Him. In His presence, we have peace. So today, as He's meeting with you, wherever you're at, are you going to focus on your problems or are you going to focus on Jesus? He has already went to prepare a place for us. And his word says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. In fact, it says it in Hebrews 13, 5. Never will I leave thee or never will I forsake thee. Again, never will I leave thee nor forsake thee. In the bridge it says that not for a minute was I forsaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. Come Holy Spirit, dry bones awaken. The Lord is in this place. The Lord is in this place. We're going through a time where we need the Lord to meet us here again. We're going through a time where we need the Holy Spirit to pour out a refreshing over us again. And it's here. And as simple as God spoke to me about all you got to do is reach out and receive my peace. All you got to do is reach out and receive that refreshing. It's there. It's just us in our human mindset having to surrender it. Surrender the heaviness. Surrender the weight of this world surrender our weaknesses, surrender that fear, that anxiety, and pick it up. Pick up that peace. Pick up that comfort. Pick up that refreshing of the Holy Spirit. Let Him revive you. Let Him renew you today. He will do it. He will do it. Father God, Lord, I thank you today that you meet us right in the presence, present where we're at, Lord. We don't know what's coming, but Lord, you're here to meet us again today. Lord, you're here to remind us that we're not forsaken. Lord, you're here to remind us that whatever we have need of and ask, Father God, it's in your hands, Lord. Lord, you're here to remind us that even if some are on the detour of life, Lord, that you're right there with them, that you're helping them every step of the way, Father God. So meet us here again today, Lord. Meet us in our present situation. Whatever somebody's going through today, Lord, whatever they have need of, let them be able to 
to reach out in faith, Father God, and claim what they need, whether it be peace, whether it be healing, comfort, whatever it may be, Lord. Let them let go of the fear, the anxiety, Lord, the questions, Father God, and pick up what you have for them today. I ask all this in your precious name, I pray, amen. And the song is following after this. God bless y'all, and I look forward to the next devotion. Bye. Can't go back to the beginning I can't control what tomorrow will bring But I know here in the middle Is the place where you promised to be Not enough unless you come. Will you meet me here again? Cause all I want is all you are. Will you meet? Let your love rise above every fear And just like the sun shaping the shadows It's in my weakness that your glory appears I'm not enough unless you Shadow